Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to install applications, you know, APK applications onto your Oculus Quest. And this should work for your Oculus Go as well, but I will be using the Quest. So, a you know, I'll say one prerequisite outside of having a Windows machine. Obviously, this is the Windows tutorial. I've got a Mac and a Linux separate video as well. The other thing is with your Quest, you will get a USB Type-C to a USB Type-C cable. If your computer or your laptop actually has a USB Type-C port, that's fine. You can just use that cable. If your computer doesn't, if you're basically using a laptop that's in two, three years old or a lot of computers, you probably just have standard USB Type-A, which is, you know, there's just that regular standard USB port that can't be, you know, flipped around. It's not reversible. So we, in that case, you will need a USB Type-A cable to a USB Type-C cable. And you can actually, you will get them with a lot of phones nowadays. So if you've got an Android phone, you probably have received it with it. You can use that cable because I'm actually using my OnePlus cable from my phone one plus six and that works great uh, so yeah that's just something to bear in mind if you're connecting it up okay so the first thing that we need to do before we can actually set up side quest and actually before that i want to discuss why we're using side quest i've created a separate video of how to do it literally just manually installing all the drivers it's a bit cumbersome and i've found that it doesn't always work very well with side quest not only have i pretty much had you know no problems or anything that couldn't easily be solved within a few minutes it handles all the drivers as well so you just download side quest it's a universal interface it'll be this, in like a similar format on mac on linux and on windows so once you've got it set up you're good to go and you're familiar with the interface and it handles the drivers but before that what we need to do is go to the Oculus dashboard. So we need to basically create a organization for our, let me for that, for our device. And this is basically so we can actually do development for it. We're not developing for it, but it allows us to install applications that aren't off the official app store so you want to go to create new organization obviously if you go to this link asks you to sign in using your facebook account or an oculus account or create one then obviously you know go through that process and i'm going to enter a name so i'm going to say test one two one two three xyz and i understand click submit i have read click agree and there we go. So that's all created. That's all you need to do on the Oculus dashboard, you know, side. Now, what we're going to do is switch over to my phone. It could be an Android phone or, or an iOS phone. Basically, the one that has the Oculus app downloaded and connected to the Oculus Quest. And we are going to set the Oculus Quest to developer mode. So let's switch to that. So you want to go to your Oculus app. This could be on iOS or Android. Doesn't really matter. And once you've got this open, you want to go to settings. And just wait for stuff to load up. Then you want to select your device, which is the first one for me, Oculus Quest. It's going to connect to it as connected. Click it again so it drops down. Click more settings. Go to developer mode and enable developer mode. So at the moment, it's enabled. If you like this, it would be disabled. And like this, it is enabled. So once that's done, we can actually get off. Okay, so now we're back. It has been set to developer mode. We can download SideQuest. So if you just Google SideQuest, I'll provide a link to all the you know, things that you need. So go to SideQuest VR, da, da, and go to download. Download the latest version as of, you know, when you actually go onto it. You can download the zips. We don't really need them. We can just go for the executable and it'll take us to the github page which automatically downloads it and yeah so let's just wait for this to download it should not take too long at all and this will it's sort of like a unofficial app store as well there will be some applications on there what you can also do is get applications from the web and they'll be used in the format of an apk file and you can simply just drag the apk file onto the side quest interface and you'll install it onto your oculus quest which i think is just fantastic 
So yeah, and just a minute left to go. Not long left. So yeah, it's gone past halfway now. I'm actually going to say showing folder because we got it right here. Still downloading, still downloading. 10 seconds to go and then we'll be ready to install it. And then we can connect up our Oculus. And you'll see how easy it is and how quick it is. Mine has been a bit slow today, I don't know why, but it's almost done. Okay, there we go. So if we open up the executable, and I want to do it for anyone on the computer, you could do it for just yourself, that's totally up to you and where you want to install it. I usually install all my stuff on a separate drive because my main drive doesn't have that much storage. And in, did I just move something? Yes, I do not want to move anything. Okay, that, that would have been a big mistake. Okay, software and we'll put it as side quest. Click install. There we go. So we can run side quest now, or you know, you, you obviously can just open it up from here or the shortcut. So click finish. And this is side quest. Obviously, I recommend in your own time have a you know go through the settings, go through all the different features, you know, and just explore it. So I'm just going to show you how to connect up your device. Another great thing that you can do with this is actually put some custom Beat Saber songs on. I'm going to, you know, create a separate video for that. As you can see right here, it says disconnected, you know, connect your headset. I haven't actually connected it yet. So I got the cable connected into my computer. Now to plug it into my Oculus, which I have just done now. Okay, it's just asking me to confirm and now it's connected. There we go, as simple as that. Okay, and it's got you know the storage as well, so you can see anything off of here. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to install something. So I'm going to go to games. It's taking a little while to load up. And I want to install Quake. Let's go back to the home page again. Let's pick anything else, really. Actually, you know what? I do have BitTorrent open. So that may have been slowing the speed down. I did forget about that, to be fair. Uh, yep, that seems to be a bit better with the speed. Okay, no, oh, there's Quake, the interface is messed up a bit there. Uh, we well, lost it. Uh, there we go, Quake Quest. Okay, so click open. And we can go to install latest. So click install latest. Installing the app. As you can see right here, so it's downloading it first, which is just an IPK, the way you would, you know, have, you know, for a Android device, for example, it is essentially phone hardware, and it's installed. If you, have any errors, or I mean like, if you, not errors, if you are installing some games or applications that are really large, it will take longer you know, as you would expect because they are big applications, but just wait patiently. So if you've downloaded an APK for your Oculus Quest off the internet, or you've got it from somewhere else and you want to install it, all you do is drag it over. It says drag and drop your APK slash OBB files over this message. Drag it over there and you're basically in this sort of, you know, area. Oh, not the debugger. In the, where was it? 
you know, the task area, it will start installing. So that is basically how you install game and applications easily and for free using side quest and let me just quickly show you on the actual oculus device where you would access them because they're not in your your normal library section so i'm going to disconnect it from the computer so we should go real red now there we go i'm going to put my oculus on Okay, so if you bear with me, I'm about to just record the screen so you can actually, you know, see what I'm seeing. So uh, go to sharing. Uh, do not want to go to cast. I want to go to record video. And there we go. Okay, so you should be able to see what I'm seeing now. So to actually play the games, you go to navigate library. And instead of going to the app section here, you go to unknown sources. And then all your games will appear here. So Quake Quest, there we go. I'll click on that. Grabbing my other controller. I'm going to turn the volume down. And yeah, we can select it. So public new game. And I can basically oops, gotta make sure that's graphics and stuff. And you can modify the controller as you see fit. And there you go, we have six degrees of free freedom rotational movement and this is pretty darn cool to see an old classic like this in vr so yeah that's literally all i am going to play in terms of quake so that's what i wanted to show you if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message actually one second i need to you know, stop the recording I forgot about that so let me get the note Go to sharing. Uh, yep, it's already stopped because the device turned off. Okay, so that is great. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.